In the 1970s, the Soviet Army had the need for a transportation vehicle that could effectively operate in extreme conditions like icy and swampy terrains. This is when the idea of developing amphibious units that use special rollers instead of traditional wheels or tracks emerged. Out of this need came the ZVM 2901. While tracks might seem like the more efficient solution, these hollow rollers, with a diameter of 0.8 meters, provide exceptional buoyancy, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 16 kilometers per hour in the water. Additionally, it can travel on swamps at 20 kilometers per hour, and in snow, it can reach speeds of 45 kilometers per hour, thanks to its 135 horsepower diesel engine and 420 newton meters of torque. The design is based on the cabin of an iconic Soviet off-road vehicle, the UAZ-452. The vehicle offers enough space to accommodate a crew of up to 12 people, as well as a cargo area for transporting equipment and supplies. In total, it has dimensions of 5.5 meters in length, 2.8 meters in width, and 2.5 meters in height. This is primarily used as a military transport unit, as well as for transporting personnel to oil or natural gas exploitation sites. Despite production of this unique vehicle having ceased for more than 30 years, the company responsible for its development has recently relaunched the model, and it can be purchased for approximately $60,000. Designed for support and rescue tasks for military units during beach landings or amphibious operations, beach armored recovery vehicles are widely known for their unique structure and design. These have been in operation primarily by the United Kingdom, Australia, and the Netherlands, with three distinct generations, each based on a specific tank model. Moving from designs based on the Sherman and Centurion tanks, the latest model developed, known as the Hippo BRV, was built from a Leopard 1 tank. It received various drastic structural and mechanical modifications, with the most noticeable being the replacement of its main artillery system with an elevated armored superstructure, which bears a resemblance to the helm of a small boat. The changes made to the original unit give it a weight ranging from 41 to 50 tons. While its original 830 horsepower diesel engine is retained, the transmission gears were reduced to increase traction force, significantly sacrificing its speed, which dropped from 65 to only 20 kilometers per hour. Its main utility lies in towing stranded vehicles on the beach sand and pushing stuck landing craft, taking advantage of its wading capability of up to 2.9 meters. Meanwhile, the Royal Netherlands Marine Corps operates four BRV units, nicknamed Hercules, Samson, Goliath, and Titan, which, while having identical specifications to British models, have some subtle design modifications in their cabins. Developed by the German company Krupp, the vehicle known as Raumer S is classified as one of the most unusual vehicles ever created due to its peculiar design and unclear purpose. Although it is believed that this unit was designed to operate as a mine-clearing vehicle, it was never possible to test it as only one prototype was built, and it never actually entered service. This vehicle weighed 130 tons and consisted of an articulated structure equipped with two Maybach HL90 engines, 
one at each end. This allowed it to move forward and backward without the need for maneuvering, reaching a maximum speed of 30 km per hour. Additionally, it had steel wheels with a diameter of 2.7 meters and steel coatings, configured at different track widths, apparently to cover more terrain. In terms of dimensions, it had a length of 15.63 meters, a width of 3.3 meters, and a height of 2.93 meters. The structure was completely armored, with thicknesses ranging from 20 to 40 millimeters, while the underside had 80 millimeters of armor, believed to withstand mine explosions. Almost simultaneously, another equally strange prototype called Viscafs 617 was created which was considerably smaller and lighter. Unlike Krupp's prototype, it was equipped with close-range defense weaponry. Eventually, the Raumer prototype was recovered by the United States, while the Vizkezi 617 was taken to Moscow. Konstrukta Defense is a company founded in Slovakia that offers state-of-the-art defense solutions designed to meet the specific needs of its customers with a focus on innovation and cost-effectiveness. Among its most notable creations is the self-propelled howitzer called Zuzana II. Mounted on a 8x8 chassis developed by Tatra, it is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine of 442 horsepower. It is capable of reaching a maximum speed of 80 km per hour, allowing it to traverse areas affected by artillery. Its dimensions measure 14.2 meters in length, 3 meters in width, and 3.5 meters in height, with a weight of 32 tons. Its cannon fires 155 mm ammunition and has a maximum range of 41 km. Additionally, it features an automatic loading system that allows it to fire up to six projectiles per minute. In total, this unit can transport up to 40 projectiles of various types, all of the same caliber. The cannon is fully rotatable, with a 360-degree horizontal traverse range and a vertical elevation range of 70 degrees. To operate, it requires a crew of four people. Although it is designed to work with an ammunition supply vehicle, this self-propelled unit is autonomous enough to operate independently thanks to its impressive set of features and capabilities. Pearson Engineering is a British company with significant expertise in developing defense systems that address some of the most complex challenges. Their work revolves around designing and manufacturing equipment that enhances the mobility and protection of vehicles, being directly attached as accessories. One of their standout projects, known as Pearson Engineering Route Opening and Clearing Capability, essentially consists of a commercial wheel loader equipped with ballistic protection and tools for detecting and removing explosive devices. It features a hydraulic arm, measuring 7.5 meters in length, which assists in material handling tasks and even self-repair operations. The structure of this vehicle is constructed using ballistic steel, primarily protecting the crew compartment. At the bottom, it incorporates a V-shaped monocoque structure that helps disperse energy in the event of an explosion. The cabin can accommodate three operators, a commander, a driver, and a gunner, as it is equipped with a weapon station on top. One of the most noteworthy features is its roller system, which transmits the vehicle's own weight, which can reach up to 30 tons, to exert a thrusting force of up to 550 kilograms for the purpose of detonating and neutralizing explosive devices. Additionally, Thanks to their fragile joints, these rollers can easily detach in case of an explosion, allowing for quick replacement. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. 
We can't wait to see you in the next one.